Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your condos. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Zero DTE live stream. Today is Friday, March 15th. A uh, little sell off in stocks here the last 30 minutes. SP down 21, NASDAQ down 80, Russell just barely red, Dow down 100, gold slightly red, silver's up, notes and bonds red, 10 year yield a little bit higher. Oil down a half percent, natty gas down one percent, grains a little bit mixed, euro and the pound flat, Bitcoin down two percent. Before the freeze, VIX was at 14.35, which would uh you know slightly contracted, but it looks like with this sell-off in the last 15 minutes, that VIX is going to open positive, which means. What I posted in my positions and updates is going to be non-existent. And what I will actually be trading this morning is my re-entries in my challenge portfolio, my one DTE iron condor. And um, remember, it's, it's quad witching. So NDX is not going to have zero DTE options. NDX and RUT. If you notice, there is no zero DTE today. Goes straight to Monday. So won't be doing my NDX trade. So that is, uh, that's my plan for this morning. Maybe some JSPs as well. It's right on the borderline. Opening bell here in a little over a minute. VIX was down almost 2% earlier this morning before this sell-off, so it looked like it was going to be a Rick day, but now s and down 31 I did hit some nice futures already pre-market too. I'm already up um, about 2,600 in the NASDAQ on a short uh, gold. I'm up about 560 and then oil closed some out. And then the I got back in and that's down. It's a little bit red on that one. I don't know if something else came out, but the, the only scheduled news pre-market, which was an hour ago, was Empire State Manufacturing Index. Uh, looks like 815, there was industrial production. There's the opening bell. Expected move in NDX about 
What's the upper expected move around 4150, the lower around 5097? Yeah, that always happens on quad witching, Ken. Rut and NDX don't have Friday options. They got the they had the AM expirations, but the next one available is Monday. So no NDX trade for me. Obviously, because it doesn't exist. All right. VIX up two percent. So my uh Re-entries should be firing. My 1DTE should be firing. Why are they not coming in yet? Anybody else having uh, no bots fire when they should be? Hmm. I've seen this before. It's he said it's kind of a lag from the TD API. Yeah, my bot activity says trade opening attempt will continue, but nothing's firing yet. The downside of bots is the API if something's delayed in that. Can have an effect. Well, I manually enter some JSPs. All right, so manually, manually entered the 5125 puts. Not working for me yet.
It's too bad. See if I manually launch. I don't know if I manually launch, if it'll double up, if it keeps trying to fire, or if it won't let me do it because it's trying to already fire it. Yeah, wouldn't even let me manually fire. So what I might do here. I manually entered my one DTE. See if my bots can manually enter the uh, my re-entries. Looks like VIX is still expanding. So if you're in, you guys seen any theta decay yet? I would assume not. Yeah, I, I can't even, I've tried to manually launch several bots now. Nothing's kicking in still. They're probably all going to start flooding in here as soon as it updates. Okay, here comes something. All right. My three to two re-entry just entered. Still no one to one. It's weird. One came through.
All right, I manually entered my one to one. Got filled at eleven ten. So it's seven seventy five. Sorry, guys, just give me a minute here. I'll kind of recap what I'm doing. Sometimes when technology works, it doesn't work. You just got to improvise. SPX kind of chopping around. All right, so here's what I'm in. I am in the... On my challenge portfolio, I'm in the uh, one to my one to one, and that's on the fifty one ten puts, fifty one fifty calls, and then my three to two, which did fire with the bot, is on the fifty ninety puts, fifty one fifty five calls. My one DTE, which is actually on the Monday option, so three DTE. Shorts are the 5080 puts, 5165 calls. And then I also manually entered some JSPs on the 5125 puts. Market coming down a little bit. NASDAQ really coming down. NASDAQ down a full percent. I just closed out my futures, booked 3,700 on that trade. That was nice. So let's see, Trade Steward is now saying, still acting like it's trying to enter stuff, but. Not coming through. Looks like in the, uh, looks like. 
Jordan mentioned, it's all resolved. My window is, yeah, my window's passed now, so that's why it's not trying to enter those. So, all right. Well, I got on what I needed to get on, just in a little bit of a roundabout way. Yeah, sometimes you got to go old school, Dave. This is a perfect example, too, of why you don't create bots on strategies that you don't understand how to trade. If you just copied somebody's bot and didn't really know what the hell you were doing, you would just be out of luck. But because I've traded the strategy many times before automating it, Bot didn't fire, simply very easily you can go in and get your orders placed. VIX trying to get up to 15 again, boys and girls. There's a little shakiness, little, uh, little market's a little on edge. Last couple of days, breaking through yesterday's lows. NASDAQ blew through yesterday's lows. My JSPs need a bounce. My other stuff just needs to stay put. Um, let's see. So on the scheduled news events, we had that Empire State Manufacturing pre-market as well as industrial production. And then here in about 10 minutes, we have University of Michigan consumer sentiment. So we'll hang out here for another 15 minutes or so, see if that by chance has any impact. Kind of feels like any news is going to push this market down. We'll see. Or maybe the news will push us back to all time highs. <laughs> See what the sectors are doing. Oil's up, regional banks are up, energy up, retail up, biotech up, gold down, financials down, consumer staples down, semiconductors down 1%, tech XLK down 1.5%. Got some junky stocks in the green. Big on the red side, Adobe down 13% after earnings. Ulta down 6% after earnings. SMCI down 3. Yeah, semiconductors getting hit. TSM down 2.6. Microsoft down 1.5. Amazon down 1.5.
Tesla slightly green. SPX still hasn't broken out of its first five minute bar range. Had about a 15 point range on that first bar. VIX back down under 15. I guess it never popped above. Looked like it was going to. Well, we got ourselves a little IV pump at least. $4 strikes are still 10, 20, 30, 50 plus wide. It was a good day to have the bots delayed at least because IV stayed pumped. We didn't have one of those days where we got a quick implied volatility contraction. That wouldn't have been good. Checking out some other positions here. My March 22 time fly. Looks like it's up. Might be up close to 5%. It's kind of jumping around. I don't like to close those in the morning. Too many legs. To let things settle in a little bit. And then my March 28 is definitely over 5%. So... We'll be booking that one today, most likely. We get some continuation down. Maybe it'll get 10% out of that one. I was thinking about opening another duck if we got some follow through today, but I'm going to give it some time. See if this actually has some more legs to the downside.
don't necessarily feel good about my JSPs. I'm feeling a feeling a little bearish here. So I got a lot of room as far as because it's a pretty wide stop, but those are painful when you get stopped out of. So hopefully we get a bounce and then we roll over. Yeah, two minutes until consumer sentiment. Let's see if that moves anything. Yeah, Anil, but my manual, I couldn't even manually launch bots this morning. So I had to go old school. You could sell call verticals if you're bearish. Well, if you buy, if you, if you, if the market goes down, buying puts is going to pay more because you get the direction and you get the volatility on your favor. But you also have theta decay when you buy puts. Whereas with the verticals, depending on where price is in your structure, you're going to have positive theta. So it's not a right or wrong way to do it. It's just what what you're what you prefer, what you're trying to accomplish, and what you know based on your assumption. If price if price kind of grinds down or chops sideways, then the vertical is going to be the better answer, but we get a huge flush. You're better off buying puts. So it depends on what your, what your assumption is. Uh, yeah, that's a possibility, Eli. I've had that happen before, but, um, you know, I was getting close to when I finally manually entered mine, I was getting close to my bot window being over. So, you know, I, I have a bot window that'll start opening at one time and then it'll stop I, at like four or five minutes is my window. And so that window was passing. And so that's why I went ahead and jumped in manually. You could, you know, if you have that, you can also just disable the bot if it hasn't entered and then you can enter manually. So there's, Definitely ways around that. SPX creeping down towards lows of day.
Checking out what a 3DTE NDX trade would look like. Since we've got this little vol pump. Let's see what I can get filled on here. Do a little test trade and NDX on the 3DTE. All right, got in a little NDX trade. I'll let that ride till the end of the day. It's a three DTE. Max profit 920, max loss 1080. It's not going to get to max profit today, though. But see if I can't book 30 or 40 percent, maybe. Three two is up about fifteen percent so far. No, about about well, to that drop now it's about eight percent. My one to one down a little bit. All right, all. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. We will be back for power hour. We'll probably be doing some discretionary re-entries outside of my challenge account as well. We can, uh, it looks like there's going to be some consolidation at some point. All right, all. Have a good day. See you in power hour.